This is round eight of Blackstone Fortress. We're doing pretty good. Everyone, everyone is either in the maglev chamber, way over here, or they're almost in, or they're Janus, and he's just hanging out way down here. But uh, he is, he's got, there's no bad guys. There's no hostiles on this board right now, at least. So I'm just kind of hoping that that sort of stays that way. And we can just all move toward the maglev chamber in an orderly fashion. We've been really lucky with the reinforcement rolls, so I'm just really hoping that somehow that luck holds out, or at least it holds out just long enough to move. Um, and I, I have remembered that Janus has a special ability for seizing initiative, so I might use that that bonus this time around just to make sure that he gets in front of any of any of the um drones all right here's the destiny die roll so i ignore the two fives but i get to keep the one three and six that got rolled so that's good that'll come in handy for the people well for the person with uh just the two activation die Thaddeus healed Pius last time, if you'll recall. So they actually have... They're, they're looking really healthy. This will be for Thaddeus. One, two, five, six. That's good. I mean, I don't know what he needs because he's not even in... I mean, he's in the maglev at this point. He's not really... Not really doing anything. This is for Janus. Um, I mean, really, primarily, he just needs to move, so I guess this is good. For once, I would have been fine with a bunch of ones, in theory. Of course, I say that right now, because there are no hostiles on the board. This one's for Pius. She's got three activation, because she got healed, so she's one six one. Again, not really sure if that's going to come in handy for her, because she's not... You know, she, she, I don't really think she's in combat, and for some reason, I don't have... I've lost two die. Um, there should be two more. Oh, I know why, because people have been healed. <laughs> uh, two and five for Amelin. And she's just one step out of the maglev, so that's fine as well. All right, let's, um, well, let's take a look at the initiative order really quick to see if Janus needs to fix anything. Uh, Pius, she's a Janus. Okay, that's good. And then Hostile Group 2, and then 1, ugh, and then Amelin. So really, the, the person who needs to move forward in initiative is Amelin, but she doesn't really have that option. I mean, she's only got two activation die. It's definitely not worth doing anything. But, you know, I mean, what's her special? Her ship, her ship support role is, oh, that she gets to, yeah, yeah, no, this is, okay, so... This action has the cost of one activation die if, if she spends that activation. If the action is taken, pick a hostile group that has not been activated this turn and swap their initiative with the card at the end. I think I might do that. Yeah, she's going to do that. So this is her ship support card. She does have to spend one activation die on it. So she'll, she'll, but it's only, it's only one up. So she'll spend her two up. Well, her two, whatever, rather, um, to take one of the hostile groups and swap it with the card at the end. So that's Taddeus. And I'm going to do the one, well, I don't even know, because the tokens aren't on the board anymore. So I'm just moving it back. So she's still, she still has to, she still has to make it out, like, you know, she's still got hostiles moving in front of her, which I don't love. Especially since, I mean, she's got two Grievous Wounds already. She really, really cannot afford to take more damage. But I, I don't know of anything I can do about that, really. I guess what I could do, though, because it is free, I may as well roll Janus Drake's, his uh, agility die to see if he can steal initiative for himself. Okay, no, he missed. Okay. My my rationale there was that if bad guys spawn and people need to rush to Amelin's aid, let's save them for later. But it's fine. It's fine. Okay, so this is Janus up. No, it's not. Is it? 
No, someone's go someone goes before him. Oh, it's Pius. Okay, I think what I might do with Pius is spend one die to put her into Overwatch, which degrades her six to a five, and her one, I don't know what happens to her one, so I'll just say that the one goes away for now. I don't want to bother looking it up. But now she's got a five that she can use should anyone show up that we don't want to show up. Okay, next up is Janus Drake. He's got a bunch of die, and really all he needs to do is move. That's what I want him to do. So he'll move. I'll just go in lowest die count order, so two. And he only moves at two. So do I need to adjust the camera? No, it's fine. Okay, so he's going to go one, two. And then he'll spend an, his four. And he'll go one, two. And then he'll spend his... Oh, this is a real problem, I'm noticing. Cause, so if you only have two, I, I don't think he can... I think I have Taddeus and Pius completely blocking off the maglev chamber. So I guess I'll use... I don't know if this is how it works, but I guess I'll use her Overwatch to back her up one. And then I will move him one, two. He can, he can share that, but I mean, I don't want him to because he really needs to get out of the way so other people can get into the chamber. So he'll move back one, and that's his turn. I mean, I think that it's no mistake that a maglev chamber only has three hexes, and the game requires four hexes. I think... I think that must have been an intentional choice on the designers for exactly this reason. Because if you park two people at the front of the maglev chamber, obviously, as I'm discovering, that's a, that's a, it's a bottleneck. It is an absolute bottleneck, and it will prevent your, your allies from coming into the space. Taddeus. I don't have anything for Taddeus to do, but he's got a bunch of dice. So I think he is now going to go into Overwatch mode. So I will spend the one, and then he'll degrade everything down by one. So his six becomes a five, his five becomes a four, his something or another became a one. So now he's got three die in Overwatch. I don't know what else to do. Okay, this is the hostile, I think. Yep, this is the first hostile group. So they'll ro roll for reinforcements. And they got a five. That's close, but not good enough for reinforcements. F anything ab four and above, no reinforcements. So that's fine. So this, this is therefore the end of this round. This is Amelin. She has one die left because she used one to advance herself in initiative. It is a five. It doesn't really matter what it is. She's got plenty of movement. She'll move into the maglev chamber, and combat is indeed over immediately. This is it. That's it. So that was not bad. I mean, really. Lots of spindle drones, not that much of a problem. They start out small, not super dangerous uh, until, you know, later later levels or, or later threat levels. Didn't even use the destiny die on that last round. Wow. That that was uh, was that felt a lot sort of I guess less stressful than the previous combat setup. And that's great. Does anyone need to roll anything? I don't think so. I think everyone... I guess we don't need these Overwatch die anymore. Yeah, I think that's it. Cool. Next time, we'll, we'll go back to the exploration deck and, and keep going.